From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather tonight. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies continue through the rest of the overnight. And that means continue, we're going to continue to see temperatures drop on down to the lower 30s. And it can't rule out a few folks in southern middle Tennessee sneaking down as low as 28, 29. But we do start to get more of a southerly breeze after midnight toward the early morning hours that mix us up the lower atmosphere. So I don't think we're going to drop quite as much as we otherwise would across the area, keeping a mix of sun and clouds through the morning hours of Tuesday, but clouds come back in the midday and afternoon and maybe a few isolated showers. Here's future cast tonight showing mostly clear conditions. You see the light winds, but as we get closer to daybreak here, they start to kick up around five miles per hour out of the south or so. So I think that's just enough mixing in the lower atmosphere to keep temperatures from dropping into the upper 20s area wide, but those sheltered valley areas may drop into the upper 20s where it's low to mid 30s elsewhere with mostly clear skies. A few more clouds by midday to the early afternoon, but despite that, a strong southwesterly wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour allows us to warm up to the upper 50s and lower 60s, but notice with a little clipper coming down tomorrow, a little weak disturbance from Canada, not much moisture with it, but enough to squeeze out a few isolated spotty showers during the afternoon and early evening ahead of a little cold front that will drop us back to the upper 40s as we head into our Wednesday here for daytime highs. No big Arctic air behind this, just a little quick shot of cooler air. We're back into the mid to upper 50s as early as Thursday, and that continues Friday into Saturday. Now, the GFS has been trying to spit out a few showers as early as Friday night here. However, previous runs of the GFS have not done that. Other models are not doing that, and just synoptically on the large scale pattern it doesn't make sense for it to happen that early because the weather system is still way back out to the west and we're too close to high pressure so i'm going to hold off on putting any showers in the forecast for friday night until we see more agreement in this idea i'm holding those showers off until saturday afternoon and saturday night when that gulf low finally organizes over the southeast united states near 60 for Tuesday, behind that little clipper, upper 40s to lower 50s. And then we warm the temperatures a little bit between 55 and 60 for the rest of the week. The upper 40s, lower 50s here Sunday and Monday, that's some clouds and showers with that upper low that will be coming across the southeast. Your overnight forecast, mostly clear to partly cloudy, getting down to the low to mid 30s. A few folks in those sheltered valleys, especially southern middle Tennessee, however, may briefly sneak down into the upper 20s. So keep that in mind. A mix of sun and clouds for our Tuesday with a few isolated showers possible in the afternoon and evening. Daytime highs near 60 within a couple degrees either side of it. Upper 40s, lower 50s here for our Wednesday. And then moderating back to the mid to upper 50s between 55 and 60 here for Thursday through Saturday. Showers start to move in Saturday afternoon to Saturday night and they continue through Sunday and Monday as that upper low continues across the southeast. There's electrical latest seven day forecast. I'll be back filling in for Ben Luna at 4 a.m. with your wake up weather forecast.